There was a toast today to the former Governor of New South Wales, Lachlan Macquarie, on what would have been his 248th birthday. It was a fitting launch to a year of events marking the bicentenary of his swearing in as Governor. You can find reminders of Governor Macquarie all over the state. There are streets, towns, rivers, even a bank. Today was the first of more than 50 events to mark Macquarie's appointment in January 1810. You could almost believe he was still stirring the crowd outside Government House. I hope you will think of me as one who had the best interests of the community continually in his mind. The play's titled Macquarie. It tells the story of the 12-year tenure of the Governor and, and Mrs Macquarie, who's remembered by her favourite place to relax. A man who had the support uh, both uh, personally and intellectually uh, of his wife Elizabeth Macquarie, a man who had a vision for modern Australia. I think people understand that he was a, a significant figure because his name is everywhere. They don't quite understand what we owe to him. That legacy includes some of Sydney's finest buildings, education systems, the first system of coinage and even the first horse racing meetings. He led several expeditions and named numerous towns along the way. He was also the first governor to endorse Matthew Flinders' choice of the name Australia. This is a successful nation because of the vision and the foundations that he established. The current governor is arguably the state's most passionate admirer of Lachlan Macquarie. Mari Bashir says he should be remembered for his integrity as much as his tangible achievements. The quality was a combination of wisdom and compassion. Those at Government House today gave Governor Macquarie birthday cheers. <laughs> And there'll be more celebrations in the months to come. Marie Scutis, ABC News, Sydney.